So we're at this abandoned mine and uh, we're gonna check it out. And this is the severely eroded entrance. Back in the day, you would've been able to walk in here standing upright, but you can see how much erosion has come down off the hillside above us. And uh, so let's, let's go in here and check this out. So sliding in here and look who's with me. I can't believe you left me here for five years. <laughs> Does everybody remember Paul? There's no. Paul. And you can see there, right behind him there, the tunnel looks like it's blocked with uh, uh, a cave-in. But that's an explosion that happened back in the 1940s when they tried to close this mine. And it looks like it is blocked, but when we get down there, you'll be able to see that we can go up and over that and into the pro approximately 2,000-foot tunnel that lays beyond. So we're going to check this out and uh, see what's in here. So we're just inside the entry chamber here. It opens up, you can see there above Paul, but here's this big rock pile that we had to climb up. And let's look back down at the entrance. You can see me, I'm kind of laying on my stomach here. There's my foot coming up this uh, pile. This is a really tight entrance. And the rock here is, you can see, uh, it's delaminating. It's very crumbly, this mine, but uh, we're gonna head that way over the top of this pile and the tunnel continues beyond. So that's looking down at the uh, entrance. We just climbed up this rubble pile. Uh, yeah, we think what they did was they dynamited this in an attempt to seal the mine, but what they did was they created this large chamber that you see here. And of course the main tunnel continues down that way. But what happened when they dynamited this, all these rocks just fell from above me and uh, didn't completely seal the tunnel like they had hoped and left a gap for explorers like us to get in here. And uh, if you look here at the rock, there's uh, like right over here, different colors. There's gray and then a brown kind of mixed in. And uh, yeah, so Paul's already gone ahead. So let's go down there and join them. Okay, that's looking back towards the entry chamber. We just came down that collapse and now we're in the main haulage tunnel and it's a straight shot and we're headed that way. So we're continuing down the main haulage tunnel, but right here is a minor collapse that uh, probably came from there on the left and maybe right here on the right. You can see on the right here just how fractured these are. That's just, that's just waiting to come off. See that gap there? Uh, so that's why that collapsed here. And uh, this is looking back at what we just came through. Okay, continuing forward, there's another collapse up here, but you can see here on the tunnel wall, the uh, marks from the uh, pickaxes the miners used to dig these tunnels. This rock is so crumbly and soft that they didn't use dynamite in here. We've seen no blasting holes. You can see all the pick marks from where this was dug by hand back in the 1920s and 1930s. Check out all those marks. Got a lone timber here holding up that section of rock right there. And the tunnel continues that way. So we've arrived at a four-way intersection. There's a tunnel there, Paul's jacket, and a tunnel there behind his jacket, a tunnel here, and then one here that we're gonna attempt uh, to dig out. You can see down there, um, it's timbered. And uh, we found a map of this old mine that says that that tunnel there goes for about 1,200 feet from this point onward, and the entire tunnel is timbered. So we're gonna attempt to dig this out and see if the tunnel's open beyond. We, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do, so. 
Let's check it out. Okay, so here's a close-up of this timbered passageway we're going to try to dig out. You can see there, looking back in there, the timbers in the ceiling kind of are pointed downward, but we think that's uh, nothing to be worried about because there's, there's a cavity up in here. And we think this right here, this rubble, because these boards are intact, this rubble did not fall from above these boards. This was put here deliberately, we think, to keep people out. And uh, so we're going to try to dig this out. And pretty heavy timbers. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So here's what we've done so far, uh, digging out about the last three hours. We totally exposed that second cross timber there at the top of the arch, and then we can see the uh, ceiling boards in the next section and can feel the next cross timber with the shovel, even though it's still under, uh, under all that rubble. Um, but yeah, that's what we've done so far. You can see how much this is all leaning to. Yeah, it's, it's leaning uh, on the left side there because there's no lagging like there is on the right side to help keep all the debris in. So it's constantly pushing down. And um, But right here is all the this pile where Paul's sitting. This is all what we've removed. What would you say, Paul? A couple cubic what? A couple what? cubic yards at least. A couple cubic yards. So, I mean, yeah, we, basically all that, that whole hollowed out area. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what we've taken out. So... We're going to go a little bit more and see if we can get further, but this might be one of those uh, ongoing projects. 